What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm on Friday the 13th here in this video again today. So we know we got word yesterday that we have a series coming to Peacock from A24 and Brian Fuller titled Crystal Lake. Yesterday again we got the big news that we will be returning to Crystal Lake in the form of again an upcoming TV series which is being produced by A24 with Brian Fuller attached as a showrunner. Victor Miller is involved in some fashion as a producer. I think I remember the report saying it's going to be made available again through Peacock. Now today Fangoria got an exclusive sit down with Fuller to kind of give some context to the news that broke yesterday to discuss some details related to the upcoming series not that these are overly exciting for many of you or just overly specific in regards to the plot itself but one thing or a couple things stand out in terms of the details that were shared by by fuller when asked what could be used from the friday the 13th series fuller said we can use everything we can go to hell we can go to space that's not to say that we will do those things although if we do go 10 seasons i will be lobbying hard to go to space and i think this i think that he's serious about this honestly if you can somehow get jason back into space in a fashion that is done well obviously people are going to eat it up but if it's done in the vein of jason x no one wants to see that again and i think jason x again was just such a bad mark in the series that that's why that would give people some red flags by just mentioning putting him in space again he also went on to mention that Miller's lawyer and A24 have assembled all the rights to allow this show to use everything underneath the Friday the 13th umbrella. This is big because that leaves adult Jason appearing as an option now. This is exciting for me because it could mean that this show starts off as a prequel centered on Pamela, but could also explore characters like Elias finally before becoming a series centered on Jason Vore. He's stalking the area as a grown adult with his signature hockey mask as we see in the series. Now, Fuller did mention that he did specifically mention in this interview to not count Jason out just yet. Uh, and, and obviously appearing as a child first might be the first iteration, but it, it'd be great to obviously see the hockey mask killer in action too. that version of Jason. Fuller couldn't disclose how far back in the timeline this would go because we know again this will be a prequel series, but described it as a pre makewell series, a pre makewell series. He didn't specify what that means. I don't know what a pre makewell is either, but my hope is that that means again it starts as a series giving context to the Voorhees family before becoming a sequel series picking up from the events of the already established canon with the films. Um, where they pick up if they take that route is my question. Like, do you pick up after Jason goes to hell and ignore the rest, or pick up? after some other entry perhaps and ignore jason goes to hell ignore freddy versus jason fuller did also state that he thinks over the course of this series we'll see many manifestations of jason so i'm curious if they try to do a show from jason's perspective for future seasons or at least give like certain bits of the show could be from jason's pov i think that would be fun to see as well uh obviously this show isn't something that many people are in agreement with some people say hey we still want another movie you know he did touch on the movie rights he said that's a completely separate mess involving new line cinema and he said that might take a little bit longer or something to that agree in terms of us getting another movie but my whole thing was again because i said i wanted to do a separate video this announcement doesn't seem to line up with some of the stuff we've been seeing in the past with sean cunningham in his cameo bio being updated seeing new line cinema tease something related to getting a text message from jason uh, and the fact that again we know friday the 13th it's literally falling on october of next year there's a friday the 13th in october of next year i don't know why that stuff was going on and again half of those things that happened they were just quickly deleted sean's cameo bio was updated to not reflect that a 13th movie will be coming out next year I, and then new line cinema of course had their instagram post deleted so you know as far as what i can tell this series of what's coming to peacock is the most we have to be excited about all the routes they could take i am open to see what they do and i know that they've also or brian fuller touched on the fact that they might have or they will have a budget that's doubling what they had when he was working on that Hannibal series. So if that makes you excited, you can at least find confidence in the fact that or find some comfort maybe in the fact that this series seems like it'll have a decent budget. 
I just cannot wait to see what they do. I'm predicting that the first half of this season will play out with us seeing what happened at Crystal Lake, the summer Jason drowned, get caught up with the life maybe of him and Pamela, learn a little bit about Elias, see Pamela's slow descent into madness, see her thwart all these reopenings after Jason drowns, thinking he's dead, even though, of course, probably in the show itself, we will see that, of course, he did not die. We already know that to be true anyway. But for people who are not familiar with this lore and with this IP, jumping into Crystal Lake when Jason drowns, if they go this route, that'll be a moment where later on when he's revealed alive, it's a shock to them. If they execute it in that fashion. For diehard fans like myself, I would say you probably would be better off just showing us that he survived and let us just see that he ran away and lived in the woods for how, however many years because we know that he obviously did not drown. You don't drown as a boy, die, and then come back an adult. He did not die. <laughs> he was just living off in the wilderness and Pamela apparently didn't know about it. Maybe you throw in a unique twist where you reveal that if they want to do their own spin on it, maybe Pamela knew the boy survived. What if they incorporate that into this upcoming Crystal Lake series? But I'm really just excited to see where this IP is going with this series that's coming to Peacock, what Brian Fuller will bring to the table, and just see how they will incorporate these different manifestations of Jason over the course of the series. I'm predicting that means we'll see him, of course, as a child. You'll see him as Baghead Jason. You'll see him as the Jason that got the hockey mask in part three. I've also thought about this. What if we get like isolated event seasons where we build up to certain things that have been talked about in previous entries, such as the fact that Chris Higgins had an encounter with Jason on one of her family trips at her cabin that's not too far off from Crystal Lake. What if we get a season that brings Chris Higgins back and fleshes out that narrative that she was telling us about in, re in reference to a traumatic event she had as to why she hadn't been there in so long and that's why she came back in part three to that location to kind of uh, liberate herself from that trauma uh what if we get something like that an isolated season centered on what happened with chris higgins in that summer she was attacked by jason in the woods i'm just thinking about that what if we get something isolated related to jason stalking the campgrounds before anything that had to do with what actually went place in part two if they want to just throw out new lore in the series there's so many different things they could do i myself if they take a sequel route if that's the approach they go in the seat in the series if it gets renewed of course because it seems like he's mapping out three seasons i think he mentioned that i'll leave a link to this interview in the description my hope is that they try to branch off from part six the most and maybe do a direct sequel to part six if we get adult jason back that's what i would prefer to see and bring back tommy doyle in some capacity but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have a link to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all of that in mind guys i will see you in the next video